Michelle Kimball got a text out of the blue from a total stranger trying to chat her up. I was thinking in my head, I said, I don't know anybody by that name. How did you, how did you get my phone number? And they said, oh, I got it off of your dog's collar. That's right, the guy was petting her German Shepherd Nilla when they were out for a walk near her home in North Carolina and had taken a photo of her phone number from the tag on Nilla's collar. Why would anybody think that's okay just to get my phone number from my dog's collar. That's in case my dog gets lost. Same thing happened to Shay Grayson. She was walking her dog when a random dude asked to take a picture of the cute Maltese. I noticed that he was actually holding up her dog collar and the dog tag. And then I realized that he was actually taking a picture of my address, which was on the dog tag, not of my dog. When she saw what the guy was doing, Shay chased him down and forced him to delete the pictures. My home could be broken into or whenever I took my dog out one day, he could be out there either to kidnap my dog or to do something to me. There were so many different things that could happen with him having my address. Dog parks are friendly environments where we tend to let our guard down, but safety experts warn us we should be wary of strangers who try to pet our dogs because they really may be trying to take our name, address and phone number right off the dog collar. If somebody's coming up to me and they want to see my dog, I don't like the feeling I get. I'm going to say my dog's not friendly. I have an aggressive dog. Just kind of keep your distance. She says your dog's tag should just have your phone number, never your address. We never think that people are going to use their dogs to get close to us, but predators, they, they have no limits. They have no boundaries.